I just realized it's going to be hard for me to put pepper on these talking to you all because I use fresh ground pepper but I also put garlic salt on my eggs <gasps> oh my gosh all right so I got a couple of different things to talk about here but the first one's going to be uh, someone message me and ask me about whether or not they should remove the factory coating on their cast iron pans and grind the rough surface down. So first let's get into why that rough surface is there. There's actually a scientific reason for it. And that scientific reason is those little pits and crevices and things that you see in your pan they allow the oil to get trapped in there and kind of provide a buffer between the food and the pan. So those little cracks and bumps and everything you see in cast iron is there for a reason. So once you remove those and you make it all shiny and you grind it down, you go through all that sandpaper, you've removed all them little pits. And then what you find out is that for a lot of people, uh, their cast iron uh, pans now have food that sticks in them for worse than it was before until they get built up a sufficient amount of seasoning on the pan. So now that you understand the science, I'm going to tell you that it's up to you what you do with your cast iron pans. Because one thing I'm an advocate of is that you do what you think is right and works for you. And I do what I think is right and works for me. So in a way, cast iron is just like life. Cooking with cast iron is just like life. I'm going to say it one more time. Cooking with cast iron is just like life. I'm going to do things the way that I want to do in life that works for me and you are going to do things in your life that work for you and they may be totally different ways of living life but they work for us. So I'm not saying my way is better than yours and you shouldn't say your way is better than mine. We're just going to say, hey, this works for me, so it must be correct. And I'm going to say this works for me, so it must be correct, even if our methods differ. That's kind of like life. The way I live life is probably going to be different than the way you live life, and that's perfectly fine. But even though our methods may be different, we can certainly agree on a few things. And one of the things we can agree with is it doesn't really matter at the end of the day what I do with my cast iron or what you do with your cast iron. The end is always going to be the same. Someday you are going to die and someday I am going to die the cast iron is going to keep right on cooking food as long as we properly take care of it in the way that we feel is best for us. So if you want to remove the coating in your cast iron and you want to remove those little bumps and crevices and pits and things, have at it. I'm just saying that I don't. That don't work for me, but it might very well work for you. And worst case is it don't work for you, and then you're out of, I don't even know what a cast iron pan costs these days. I'm kind of guessing this is the uh, Biden years. They're probably like seven, $800 a skillet by now. I don't even know. I haven't bought any in many years. But the point is, I'm saying is, if you ruin your pan, just buy another one. Money grows on trees. If I need to buy a, a cast iron pan and I ain't got the money, I just go out and I pick the money off the tree. People get so uptight 
and I see this all the time in like Facebook groups, like the way I do beekeeping might be different than somebody else. I'm not saying my way is the correct way or the perfect way or the best way. I'm saying this is what I found works for me and I try to share that knowledge. That's all I'm doing. I'm trying to share knowledge. If you don't own any cast iron ever and you're first getting into cast iron and maybe your food's sticking and you find my videos and you try the method that I say works for me, pretty good chance it's going to work for you too. That's really what my channel is about. I'm just sharing knowledge I've learned over many years of doing home setting and living life. And my methods might work for you, they might not. But if my method doesn't work for you, at least it gives you a starting point where you might be able to figure out a way that does work for you. And then that's win-win for both of us. Look, I'm sitting here talking all this time. My pan probably got too hot. I'm hungry. It's time for some eggs. Oh, my pan's definitely too hot. I can tell that already. We'll get some cold eggs in there to cool it down some. Yes, I eat five eggs every day. No, I don't have high cholesterol. I know that's what everybody always says. Doesn't happen. Uh-oh. See, I let my pain get too hot. Might be have some food sticking. Happens even to the pros. Yep, sure did. Let my pan get too hot. But you know what? The eggs are still going to be good. Oh, oh boy. Things I do for YouTube. Done ruin my eggs. Might have even ruined my pan. Probably gonna have to grind the seasoning off of it now. All that fun stuff. If I would have done that from the start, my food wouldn't have stuck, right? <laughs> Honestly, y'all, I hope you have a great day. I hope you found this entertaining because that's what it was, right? supposed to be entertaining just to kind of set aside that hey we can all have different ways of doing things that's fine that's what makes us different if we were all the same life would suck have a great day everybody as always god bless you god bless your families god bless your homesteads